ただいまに2015年度上智大学ふざつき学位授与式を挙行いたします。Faculty of Liberal Arts, 76 students, Representative, Department of Liberal Arts, U. Kanehina, 国際教養学部卒業生76名、代表、国際教養学科、金平君。金平君。Well, there it is, Phoenicians, the very last moments of my academic career. And as I step into this next phase of my life, uh, there's a lot of uncertainty, as you know. And for the last week and a half, or even since I got my graduation notice two weeks ago, I've been thinking about what to say for this video, the last Zach to School video. And I was originally going to say don't do what I did because of the hardships I've had trying to find a job. But every time I would look back on the memories I've had the last two and a half years, half the shit I say in my video, I wouldn't have been able to say if I didn't move here. So what I'm tr maybe what I'm trying to say is, if you see an opportunity to do something that is definitely life-changing, take that opportunity. Seriously. Don't ever pass up anything that, is, that you know is an opportunity. When I found out the moment I, you know, the moment I found out I could transfer here, it was in the middle of 2012. I was doing research, and I was really unhappy with where I was at Arizona State, and I was unhappy with、um, my teachers. I was unhappy with, you know, the situation with the,、uh, you know, the club I was in. I was unhappy with how I, how I was learning about Japan, and I found out through one of my friends that Sophia, you know, accepts transfer students. 
If you didn't know, I actually went to Sofia for four weeks during the summer of 2011, which was immediately after the earthquake. So, yeah, I've been involved with Japan for the last four years and seeing Japan transform to where it is today. It, Japan changes very rapidly, and it always does that. You see, I wouldn't know this if I didn't come here, right? And when I found out that Sofia accepts transfer students, I did more research. I came back in 2012 for two weeks and uh, went to the open campus at my you know, at Sofia. And I found out that you know, it's a pretty good school. And I was talking with my professors today, and, they, and I, I brought my dad with me to the ceremony. And they go up to my dad and said, you know what, your kid was one standout student. Like, they, they didn't even hesitate. And I could tell they're not just bullshitting to, you know, please my dad. They're just saying, this kid, right here, he's one of the better students I've ever had. And, and that kind of sticks with me whenever a professor says that. Even before I graduated, some of my professors were saying, you know what, you're going to go somewhere. So, I kept that in mind with me as I was graduating, but I'm not sure where I'm going right now, honestly. I think they see me... They want me to take that next step. My professors say, "Okay, Zach, you've always done it. You've always done things your way. You've always done things yourself. You've always done things by yourself, and you've always done things the way you know they should be done. So why aren't you doing that right now?" It's hard to do that when you're looking for a first job right out of college. You know, I have to completely change my mentality. I have to completely. You know, I have to actually follow along with a lot of things, and that's the tough part. It really is. And, but nonetheless, the, the opportunity thing I keep mentioning, that's why I do YouTube. That's why you're watching me right now. I asked, my parents asked me once if I ever wanted to, uh, you know, if I ever wanted a Christmas present, uh, that, a couple years ago, Christmas present, uh, for getting you know, good eight, you know, good grades. And I said, well, I want to see how I can record for YouTube. I, you know, because I was watching a lot of gaming videos. And I found out that a lot of the fa my favorite gaming YouTubers use an Elgato. And I found out it was kind of expensive. So I told myself, the day this came in the mail, the day my Elgato came in the mail, if I'm going to spend a shitload of money on this, I better put my heart and soul into it. That's why you see me every day. I'm not one for quality right now. My computer is not a quality computer. I'm one just to talk to you guys. I'm a talker. You know, I communicate what I find interesting. I communicate what I find that has an impact in my life to you guys, to whoever listens, to the Phoenicians, right? Ah. Hmm. Uh. Yeah, but, I don't know, for the last few months, ever since, like, May, even before May, as I was starting my job search, I don't know, I feel like this transition period has taken a toll on me. Every time I travel outside of, Tok uh, outside of Tokyo, and I go to different places in Japan, and I speak their dialect, and I learn their custom, and I talk to the people there, and I find out how they're like compared to people in Tokyo, I always, it, it always strikes me to hear, you know, hear them say, oh, you're so good at Japanese, you know a lot about Japan, you know more about Japan than we do. That's what these people in rural parts of Japan tell me. And to hear a potential employer say my Japanese isn't good enough, or that I should know about this custom or something like that, I know about the custom. And my Japanese is okay. Here's the thing. Maybe this is what's keeping me from finding a good job. I'm myself. And I was talking with my dad about this. I think America appreciates a sense of dignity and a sense of pride a lot more than Japan does. And I feel like that's the death knell for Japan. If Japan can't learn to accept uniqueness and... Japanese people can't learn how to have pride in themselves, this country's going to go nowhere. I can tell you that right now because all of my professional, all of my friends from my school who are female, well, you know, very intelligent, well educated about foreign culture, you know, even if, especially if they speak English really well, 
They're getting out of here. Like three people I know from my graduating class today. Well, one of them's already in Singapore. One of them's in Singapore already, and the other one is planning on going to America sometime soon, and the other one's going to Canada. Not good for Japan to have three highly intelligent women leaving the country. And then Sachiko? She's trying to go to America. She wants to go to Texas. You know, a lot of you guys are like, why the hell is she going to Texas? That's a bunch of rednecks. She loves Texas. She's been there. You know? And that's one less highly motivated professional for Japan because Japan won't hire her. She got an offer from one company, but the other companies that gave her offers were just trying to make her a secretary or ochakomi. You know? And that's the bad thing about Japan. That's what I've learned from being a student here. That's the takeaway from the last two and a half years of being at Sofia. I know about this country now. People give me shit. You haven't lived here long enough to know about this country. No. I know about this country before I came here. I've written two thesis papers during the last two and a half years. Got A's on both of them. Professors gave me high praise. Even before I came here, I had research papers done. One of my papers right now, I'm trying to publish it. And one of you, you know, some of you guys who are in our YouTube community, they, you're like, you've only been here for two and a half years. You don't know shit about Japan. Bull shit. This is my turf. It's my country. You, know, you guys here in Japan who have given me so much help and praise and support, love you guys to death. And of course, all of you Phoenicians out there, like I said, never, ever be afraid to try something that you know will give you a satisfactory result. Never, ever be afraid to take an opportunity to do something life-changing. Alright? And I want you guys to know this right now. You probably heard this from every other YouTuber. But you're going to hear it from me because this is a small, tight-knit, awesome community of people. If you ever need anything, you need to talk to someone, you need to feel better, you need something to make you feel better, you need to, you know, someone, you're just having a bad day. I'm right here. You can watch my videos, you can send me a tweet, you know, look at my Instagram. I'm always here for you. And I'm always going to encourage you guys to do your best and to make a huge impression on this planet. So thank you guys so much for your support, especially those of you who've known me before I started doing YouTube. Alright, I'll see you guys in the next video. Take it easy, Phoenicians!